Hello, hello. I'm here tonight with a book haul. I haven't had one for a while, so I rounded up all the books that I believe I bought since the last book haul, so hopefully we get them all in. And uh, yeah, I got quite a few, so let's just go ahead and jump in. This first set is from Book Outlet, um, two separate purchases that I made. If you have not yet checked out Book Outlet, I would highly recommend it. There is a lot of great books that you can get for a very reasonable price. I will leave the link down below for you if you haven't yet checked it out. Um, the first one that I got from Book Outlet is Sisterhood Everlasting by Anne Brashears. This is the final book in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series and I believe this takes place like several years after um, Forever Forever in Blue, I think the fourth one in the series when they're all probably in their like 20s, maybe even like, you know, mid to late 20s. So they're all actually like fully adult. So I believe I've read the first two in this series, um, but that's as far as I've gotten. And this is one of the things I'd really like to finish up in the next year or so uh, to complete this series. Next, I got a book by Sarah Shepard. She is the one who uh, wrote the Pretty Little Liar series and and the Lion Game series, and I picked up The Heiress. Um, this seemed really interesting. I liked the cover, and um, basically, from what I can understand from the uh, brief synopsis that I read, and if I remember it correctly, basically it's about these four heiresses, and then one of them uh, jumps out a window, and then the other three get like a threatening message, so they're not sure if she committed suicide or if it was a murder. Uh, so the other heiresses are kind of a little bit worried and it's a little bit of a mystery. So that sounded pretty nice um, and I was excited to read it so I picked it up. Next I got a book by Audrey Neffenegger and I believe she's the one who wrote um, The Time Traveler's Wife maybe? Um, but anyway, this one's called Her Fearful Symmetry. I love that title. I, it just really grabbed my attention. Um, I believe this is about two sisters, and they get an apartment for, um, like, an inheritance from their aunt, and, like, their only rule is that they have to live there together, and their parents are not allowed in there, and I thought that just seemed very interesting. Um, it seems like kind of like a mystery suspense, so, yeah, that sounds pretty good. And next, I picked up The Crane Wife by Patrick Ness. I haven't read anything by Patrick Ness, but I've heard um, several people mention his books here on BookTube, so I thought I would try this one. I thought I, this was a really um, pretty cover, so I thought I'd give it a try. Um, from what I know, this book is about um, kind of a loner who owns a bookshop, and I think like a crane shows up, and then the next day this kind of mysterious lady shows up, so I don't know. We'll, we'll read it. We'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully this is a good Patrick Ness pick. Next, I picked up Charm and Strange by Stephanie Kuhn. Maybe? I don't know. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this is about. I know this won an award, and I know that I've heard about it on YouTube, and I like the name. So when I saw it, I just went ahead and picked it up. I really don't know what it's about. I thought it was something about, like, some sort of, like, a school in the forest or something. I don't remember. But it sounded interesting, so I grabbed it. Uh, the next one I picked up is called Distant Echoes by Colleen Cobble. And, again, I'm not really sure what this is about. I just really liked the cover. Um, and I thought it looked good, so I picked it up. Uh, next, I picked up two No Fear Shakespeare books because um, I've kind of been collecting these. I'd really like to get through some Shakespeare this year, and I like these covers. Um, well, not these covers, I guess I should say, this collection. Um, it comes from Sparknotes, and basically each one is split up into two sides. They have, like, the Shakespearean text versus, like, more normal, traditional current English so it gives you like a really good translation of it. Um, in this haul I picked up Henry V and my favorite A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, I have quite a few of these now so um, hopefully I can do like a, just a marathon of Shakespeare sometime soon. So yes I picked those up. One that I actually got for a really good deal, I think I got this one for a dollar, was Weathering Tights by Louise Renison. This is a new series. Um, I am a huge fan of the Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging Georgia Nicholson series 
and this is a new one so I decided to go ahead and try it um, I know that it's all kind of like a take on classics like with the titles so I really don't know what it's about but I'm guessing it's probably about a teenage girl yeah Tallulah Casey so I don't know I thought I'd give it a try because I loved her Georgia Nicholson excuse me Georgia Nicholson series and then next I picked up um, a book kind of just for my coffee table, and it is called The Cheap Chica's Guide to Style, Secrets to Shopping Cheap and Looking Chic by Liliana Vasquez. And I just kind of like the cover. Um, I thought this would be just a cute book for my end table and maybe even just to kind of read. Um, I don't know. It was cheap. I picked it up. Those are the books from Book Outlet. So moving on, we're going to go to the books I picked up at Half Price Book. First book I picked up was The Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing by Melissa Bank. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure what this book is about, but I've seen it on so many lists. I know it's been like covered in magazines. It's always highlighted as a book you should read. So I saw it on sale, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up uh, because it seems like a book that I should have read and have on my shelf. Um, next, I picked up one of the books. I think it might be the third book in the Vampire Academy series uh, called Shadow Kiss by Michelle Reed. Um, I haven't yet started this series, but I definitely plan to read it, especially with all all the uh, buzz about it here on YouTube and I know my students were reading some of these last year so I definitely plan to get to these and again it was in the discount so I thought I might as well go ahead and pick it up to make sure I have it. Um, next I picked up another couple in the discount bin that I really don't know anything about. Um, this one is called School of Fear Final Exam uh, by Giddy Denish Denishvari. I don't know, but I think this is book three, so I might read this and just kind of see how I feel about the series. Um, I again, I don't have no idea what it's about, but it got me with the School of Fear, and the the cover looks a little creepy, so I thought it might be like a fun juvenile read. I don't know, but I know this is book three in the series, so we'll see. I don't normally like to start books in the middle, but meh, we'll see. Um, and again, I have another one that kind of is in the middle. I picked up Resist by Sarah Crossan. And it turns out this is a sequel to a book called Breathe, so I will have to find that one. But this seems kind of like a post-apocalyptic um, survival series, so I'm not sure. Again, it was um, a hardback on sale, so I just picked it up. Um, but we'll definitely have to read Breathe first. Next, I picked up one called Three Terrifying Tales of Terror by Tony Bradman and Martin Chatter Chatterton. Chatterton. Um, this was, again, in the discount bin, and with Halloween coming up, I thought this would be a good thing to uh, take around, and I think it's a juvenile book, so it won't be too scary for me, and I mean, it's got pretty large text, um, so I think it'll be a really fast read. Next, I picked up a book that contains four, four in one. This is called Mates, Dates, and Simply Fabulous by Kathy Hopkins. I get the impression this is kind of like a Georgia Nicholson series, um, and this includes the first four, Dates, Mates, and Inflatable Brawls, Dates, Mates, Dates, Mates, and Cosmic Kisses, Dates, Mates, and Designer Divas, and Dates, Mates, and Sleepover Secrets. So um, it is pretty chunky, but I believe these are kind of... Um, quick reads so we'll see I think I've read the first one in the series but if I did it was so long ago that I don't remember so I will definitely be picking this up maybe as a um a quick summer read because I don't think even though it's pretty chunky I don't think it's going to take me too long uh but we'll see I may break them up who knows uh but I picked that one up also I picked up a, a small tiny little book called Great American Short Stories. Um, one of my goals this year was to read more short stories and as you can see this was only 50 cents so I went ahead and picked it up. Especially since it says the word great they've got to be good right? Uh, and next I picked up another compilation uh, book. This is the Bikini, or the Death of <clears throat> The Death by Bikini Mysteries by Linda Gerber. This contains books one, two, and three. Death by Bikini, Death by Latte, and Death by Denim. Um, I just really like the cover. I, I thought it was cute. I thought this would be an easy book to throw in my bag whenever I need something, especially, again, maybe in the summer. Who knows? And then lastly, at Half Price Books, I found and picked up Sherlock Holmes, The Complete Novels and Short Stories, Volume 1. Pretty thick. 
pretty chunky and I mean it's got little text so this will take a while but I've seen a lot of people reading just um, some of the stories in this just as they go through like marathons and things and I thought that would be a really nice way to do it. Um, and yeah, I read The Hound of the Baskervilles quite a few years ago and I really enjoyed it so I thought I would give this one a try. Those are all the books that I got at Half Price Books. So now on to a library sale. The first book I picked up at the library was What Alice Forgot by Leanne. And again, I don't know if it's Moriarty or Moriarty, whatever. Um, I really liked the book that I read by her earlier this year, which was... The Husband's Secret, and I'm really excited to read Big Little Lies as well, but when I saw this one I decided to go ahead and pick it up since I enjoyed her writing so much. Um, I believe this one is about a woman who realizes she is suffering from Alzheimer's and she's working to um, kind of get her memory back, so I don't know. We'll see. I really liked uh, her writing though, so I'm excited to give it a try. Next, I picked up a Sophie Kinsella book uh, with... Uh, Finding Audrey coming out. It, there's been a lot of buzz about this author, so I decided when I saw this first one in the Shopaholic series to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, and this is Confessions of a Shopaholic, the first one in the series. I think that um, it's a little bit different from the movie, which I have seen, so I'm kind of interested to see those differences. And yeah. I decided to pick it up. I'm excited to read it. And next and last for the library purchases, I got a copy of uh, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I believe I already have this book, but I really liked this cover. I thought it was kind of cool. And I actually haven't read this book, so I am excited to do that. Next, I got a couple free books at the library through the reading program this year. So first, I picked out The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. I've actually already read this book, but I really, really liked it. So I was excited to have the opportunity to own it and have it on my shelf. Um, this is um, very much like a fantasy novel. And if you've read any Neil Gaiman before, I just, I love his writing. I think it's great. And this is such a short book. It takes no time at all. It was a little hard to get into because you just kind of jump in. And it just keeps getting weirder but I don't know it's just it's great I really like it if you haven't read it I would read it and if you do read it let me know what you think um next I picked up Catalyst by Lori Hulse Anderson I've liked some of her books before and I have not read this one so I went ahead and picked it up and the last book that I got for free from the library this year was The Cannibals by Lane Lawrence. No idea what it's about, but it kind of made me think of reading about the whale ship Essex that went down and they had each other to survive, so I don't know. We'll see. Then I got a few ARCs in the mail, and I'm so excited. These are my first ARCs that I have received, and they were all uh, sent from the publishers, but I got them through the Goodreads giveaway. So the first one that I got is from Random House, and it is called A Place We Know Well. Not a wonderful cover there for the ARC, but... Um, I'm pretty excited. It says the tentative on sale date will be September 29th. The tentative publication month will be October 2015, which that doesn't really make any sense, but okay. Anyway, it's called A Place We Know Well by Susan Carroll McCarthy. Um, all I remember is that it, uh, the actual book has this really neat, like, 50s looking lady on it, and it seemed pretty interesting, and I don't remember exactly what this was about now but I remember being very excited to read it so thank you Random House for sending me this arc I'm excited and then next we have one from St. Martin's Press and this one has a little bit of cover art for you there kind of neat it says Still Life Las Vegas by James Sai S-I-E Sai mm, I don't know um this one uh comes out I don't know when. I don't think it gives me the date here. I don't know when this one comes out. I think it's probably, oh, August 2015. So it may or may not be out already. I'm not 100% sure of the exact date. But uh, again, I'm pretty excited about this one. It seemed kind of like a scavenger hunt to me, if I recall correctly. He's looking for something in Las Vegas. And I don't really remember all the details, but again, I was pretty excited about it. That's why I applied for this one. So yeah, thank you for sending me this arc. Next, another one from St. Martin's Press, and that is called Tell the Story to Its End by Simon P. Clark. This one comes out again in August 2015, and I have no idea what this one was about. 
Um, I see the words uh, beautiful and haunting debut and juvenile fiction. So if that gives you any details. Uh, so I'm excited to read that one and this one's pretty short. It sounds like it might be a good book to read in October. And then the last arc that I got is one about teaching in school stuff. It's called The Mindset in the Classroom, Ready to Use Resources edition. And this comes from... Uh, let's see. This comes from Pro Proofrock Press Inc. So thank you for this arc as well. And lastly, I'm going to do a little quick unboxing for you. I got an uppercase bag in the mail a couple of weeks ago, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Let's see what we have in here. Well, first, I am seeing... First, I'm seeing... This little box here. It looks really cute. Let's see what's in it. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's a little ampersand in like a ro rose gold. Oh, very, very cute. Yay! Then we've got something else in here. What is this? Ooh, it's like a little tattoo. This says, give me truth. Uh, to say anything else there. This one is from Walden by Henry David Thoreau. So that'll be cool for a little tattoo. And then what do we have else? We've got this little, oh that's so cute, this little like journal. It's got some blank pages in there that you can write on and it says swoon reads. Oh that's so cute. Oh I love, it feels kind of different. Oh feels kind of like leathery. Ooh, very cool. And then there's a little pamphlet for swoon reads. There's a little uh, handwritten personalized note in there from the owner of Uppercase, which I think those that is just such a cute little touch there. Oh, and then the book. The book this month is Rebel Mechanics. All is Fair in Love and Revolution by Shauna Sweetson. And there's a little bookmark to match the one they have on the cover there. And one of the other features that I really like about uh, this subscription is that they put little post-it notes in there. And when you get to certain places in the book, it sends you specifically to a, a discussion about whatever's happening in that point in the book. I love that. So yeah, I am so excited for this month. And I am in love with this book subscription. So if you have not checked out... Uh, uppercase yet, you definitely need to do so. I'll leave a link down below. So, whew, that is all the books that I have hauled, I think, since my last book haul. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Bye!